Hello everyone, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modelling Bench. There's Jess down here as well. Um, so, welcome aboard if you're new to the channel, and if you're not new to the channel, thanks for popping in again. So this is my sort of monthly roundup that we do every month. Um, it's funny to have a monthly roundup, and I do it every month, isn't it? Strange that. Ooh. So, um, yeah, so, end of every month, I just do a, where have we been, where have we going, a big thank you to everybody who's contributed to the channel in all sorts of different ways and um, and basically just a, a sort of a, a catch up really. So start off by saying a massive thank you as I always do, particularly to the Patreons, those of you that are oh, and, and people who give me money through PayPal, they contribute to the channel. Um, it is greatly appreciated and these days pretty much needed. I made a, a small order of some thinners and a couple of bits and pieces from Ed the other day and it was like 30 odd quid, you know, God, it, that was like 20 pounds six months ago. And um, and I've now had to buy a new airbrush. Uh, some of you, I'm not sure if you've seen the video yet because um, it's in the Hurricane series, I think. But um, yeah, I damaged my airbrush and the cost of a new nozzle is so much that I've just bought another airbrush. So thank you very much guys for that. I've bought another Iwata Revolution BR, exactly the same as the old one, because this one here, basically this is the old one still in use. I haven't unpacked the new one yet. That's the old one there. And it's, um, it's. I had a look, I actually bought that in 2010. So it's 12 and a half, 13 years old. And it went on and on and on. And then I smacked the end of the nozzle. Luckily the needle wasn't in there. But I smacked the end of the nozzle and when I looked at the prices of a new needle and nozzle, I may as well buy another bloody airbrush. So that's what I've done because the mechanism at the back is getting a bit tight as well. So this will be like a, a spares, spares jobby or maybe for weathering effects with spattering and stuff because it's really good at spattering now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Thank you very, very much for all your uh, wonderful, generous, kind donations. Um, I also want to say thank you to all new subscribers. It's 600 odd uh, joined this month, which is uh, fantastic in January. Um, unbelievable. You obviously like what you see. You obviously come for the hurricane or whatever. If you are new to the channel, make sure you have a look. There's a lot of stuff on there. Um, lots and lots of, of stuff going on. And uh, the Border Model Lancaster is still going on. I'm still, it's on the bench right now. I'm still working on it a year after I got it. Um, we got the 24 scale spit for. We'll go through all that in a minute. Uh, so yeah, so um, as I say, if you are new to the channel, make sure you have a look in the back catalogue and, uh, and go and have a look. And also go look at the playlist because there's a lot of things listed in playlists as well. Uh, you'll see some aren't finished. I'm renowned for not finishing things, but lately I have been getting in and getting things done. So um, so yeah, what have we done in January? Well, uh, I guess the first one has to be this one. Uh, you won't have seen this finished yet because part two only went out yesterday. But this is the brand new Revell 132nd scale Hurricane, which is a gorgeous little model. And some of you won't believe this. It's currently January the 31st. I got this kit when I reviewed it, it was January the 9th. And I've actually finished it and videoed it all in, what's that, 20 days, <laughs> 22 days. So in fact, I finished it yesterday, so it's 21 days. So uh, yeah, really, um, really surprised myself with that one. So very, very nice. And if you look underneath, you will also see, I don't know if that canopy falls off. Uh, you will also see, I've actually removed the masking from the identification light now, which I didn't do if, when you see the finished build, I forgot to do it. So in all the finished photographs and all that is there. But um, yeah, really, really pleased with it. I used the ASK or the, um, Art scale kit, this company here, I used their masks on it and they worked beautifully. These are the inner and outer masks. So we painted the inside and the outside of the canopy. You can see there we've got the green on the inside and the darker green on the outside. And it's a really interesting effect, which I can't really show you, but you'll see in the finished build. When you actually look across it, it's sort of 45 degrees, you can see the green on the inside and it sort of gives the frame some thickness rather than just being paint on the outside. I've never done it before. It, believe it or not, in all my years of modelling, um, I suppose really masks are a fairly newish thing, aren't they? You know, they've only been around for, what, 10 years, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, really, really pleased with how they come out. So um, make sure you come and have a look on the channel and watch that get finished. It, it, part three will be out next Monday at nine o'clock. And basically there are six parts to it total. So um, 
yeah, part three will be out next Monday, which will be, what will that be, the 6th of February, whatever. Uh, that will be out for you to see. So uh, make sure you tune in for that one. If you haven't seen the first two, go back and take a look. Part two had some issues with the filming. Uh, a lot of you commented on that. Um, basically, it's kind of, it, it, instead of my hand going like that when I'm moving two parts together, it's sort of, it's sort of, it's weird. It's almost like it's, the film has been slowed down. It's very, very strange. But I noticed today it's back to normal. So I've checked the others. I've gone back. Uh, part five and six were fine. I've redone part four. And then it still had this sort of motion thing on it. So I've redone part four again in 1440. So um, I think it's okay now. So anyway, we'll, yeah, I hope you're enjoying that one. The other thing we're working on is the Spitfire. As you know, I got this, the Airfix Spitfire. I think I started this in December, didn't I? I can't remember now. But this is, uh, the bottom is all done now. And you can see we've got the invasion stripes on there, only around the bottom, nothing on the top. And um, there are people out there that are saying the cowlings don't fit. They do. And as you've, you've seen me do it, so um, they do fit. And I'm a firm believer if you're building this kit, don't glue the engine bearers in until you're ready to fit your cowlings. Because I think you can get the engine bearer out this way and that way. And that will make your carolings not fit. So uh, make sure you uh, don't glue the engine bearers in until you fit up your outer covers and everything. But um, yeah, really, really pleased with it. It is a beautiful model. Needs a bit of care and attention in a couple of areas. Um, yes, I've made a lot of fuss about it. A lot of people say you don't have fuss. Yes, I do fuss. But you can see the results. You know, when that ring root, it's, it's bloody gorgeous. So um I'm, I'm really happy with how it's come out. It's stored at the moment because I've sent my clear parts to uh, Peter over at Artscale Kit to make masks for it. He's doing internal external masks for it. And basically what's happened is the, par the parcel has arrived um, in the Czech Republic. They've actually pulled it to one side, done a big customs check on it, and they've charged him 30 euros to prove, to, to, he's got to prove the value of it or something. I think I put £10 on this. I can't believe it. It's just unbelievable. It's ridiculous. You know, it's a few bits of plastic. I just hope they haven't like pulled it out and broken the parts. But uh, we shall see. Um, so that's the other thing I'm working on. And as you all know, the Lancaster, it's on my bench right now. It's here. And you've all seen this before. It's huge. And we've got all the, the cockpit and everything done in there. It's looking... Really, really good. I'm really, really liking it and uh, really, really happy with how it's coming out. I've been waiting for the art scale kit mask to turn up for this one, which they have. So I can carry on with the turrets. And I tried the Kits World ones and they were bloody awful. So um, we're now working on the turrets as we speak. I am currently here filming part 33. So I've got the turrets on the bench. There's the nose turret there, you can see. So uh, yeah, really, really happy. And then we've got the the rear turret there, which is done with the guns in and everything. And then we've got the mid upper turret there, which is all ready to go. Just need some chipping and I can put the clear parts on and get the mass. Also, I've been working on the canopy framing, which you will see in the video. That is very, very fine. They needs a lot of work, a lot of scene cleanup, but well worth it when you actually see it inside the canopy. The other thing I've been working on, not to forget, is this one. This is... um. If you don't follow Paul over at Plastic Monkey, he's currently building the Hurricane as well. Um, he's done his in the night version. Uh, we're working on this together. This is a buddy build with Paul and Chris. So that's over at Plastic Monkey. The, uh, the, the YouTube channel is called Plastic Monkey. Um, and we're building these Italian torpedo boats. You can see there we've got the, the front deck there with the lovely red and white stripes. I call it KFC. We've got the, the grey deck with the grey highlights and then the black underside. And I've done the props and everything, but uh, we don't tend to work on them unless we're actually live on camera. So that's the way it goes, unless we've got major painting work to do. But um, Chris and I have basically gone the same approach. We're doing all the detail bits to go onto the deck, uh, getting all those done. Lots of lots of seam lines. It's, my kit is a right mess. My torpedoes are a complete utter mess. Um, got problems with one of the sprues, I think. So, uh, so there we go. But uh, if you want to see that, that's at half past nine every Saturday night live. You can go on there. You'll see Paul building his. You'll see Chris building his. You'll see me building mine. And you'll see Ice Queen 7, 
which is Paul's wife, Sue, and she'll be there reading all the questions and comments that you put in there. So come take a look and have a bit of a laugh. It's I'm having a beer at the same time, so it's all a bit sort of uh, a, a bit less serious than my normal videos are. So um, what else did we do? Had some fantastic review stuff come through. As I say, all the stuff from Artscale Kit. I've just done the review on the saws that I hope you've seen. Um, I've since realised people are saying that the postage is expensive from the Czech Republic, probably because he's using DHL or one of the other uh, providers, because Czech post is obviously not very good. So, um, so that's why the postage is like 20 euros or something. But I got a great big box of stuff. I have been through it all. Um, and here are the lovely, lovely masks for the Hurricane, the Hurricane, the Lancaster. So I just know they're going to fit beautifully. The ones on the Hurricane, I had to do a tiny little slither on one of the one of the masks just to clean up an angle. But other than that, they fitted absolutely perfectly and the result is beautiful. So uh, I don't know how he does it. He's obviously made the inner slightly bigger so you don't see the green unless you look at an angle. But it's really, really nice. So really looking forward to giving them a go, which I'm going to be doing in the video after I finish making this video. So there we are. Um, I also had the wonderful masks from One Man Army. You've seen me do a re review of those. Um, I'm going to do another review. I have spoken to um, Sven and I'm going to do another review, another test on those. Um, and he's going to be sending me them. When he's done them, he's going to be sending me the set for the Spitfire in uh, 124 scale. So looking forward to that, which I may use them. I may not because this is an out of the box build. So I don't know if I'll use them or not. But um I'm going to build another one, I think, because I've got the airscale cockpit to go in and everything. And I need to do a giveaway as well on one of those airscale cockpits. So if you've got a 24 scale Spitfire and you want to win a, a, a free airscale cockpit set for it, just keep watching. Um, so what's coming in February? Uh, I'm hoping the Qatari Spitfire Mark 1 is going to arrive. Uh, as you know, I'm on the promo list for them, so I'm hoping that's going to arrive. Um, you know, I've done a test on the or test, a review of the F-35 from Tamiya, which is an absolutely beautiful kit. It will you just shake the box and you'll, you'll get a finished model out of there. Um, and I've got the masks and those gorgeous resin wheels that have been sent to me by Tom from Manish. So go back and look at the reviews of those. Um, I want to build a helicopter. I really, really want to build a helicopter. The new Apache from Tacom has got me all interested in building a helicopter. And I've got a few in the stash. My favourite, of course, is an MI-24, but I don't think that's really appropriate to do anything Russian at the moment. So um, might uh, might upset some people. So I'm not going to do that. Um, and obviously we're going to be carrying on with the Lancaster and we're going to be carrying on with the boat. And I have also ordered a very small kit of a cargo plane that we will be getting on with as well. I'll probably build that as a few videos like I did the Hurricane, just sort of on the side. So there we go. Uh, one other thing I want to say, which is coming in March, uh, Model Officer is the name of the channel. They are doing a 48 hour build uh, on live, sort of live on the starting on the 10th of March 2023 at half past seven. Um, and you can donate and all proceeds will go to Models for Heroes. Um, go have a look on Model Officer's channel and you will see it there. And uh, and join in the fun if you want to. They've asked me to do a video. They're gonna have, they have little videos run that is sort of like like an advert breaks or whatever um, to sort of break it up a bit. And they've asked me to do a little tips video and that. So I'm gonna do something for them there. So if you like listening to my voice and seeing my ugly mutt, then you'll enjoy that. Um, but I will be getting that over to them very very soon. So if you are watching this, then uh, it's coming your way. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much about that. Um, what else is going on? The Ravel Hurricane, the, I, I think Ravel have changed their plastic formula. Um, a few people have said to me, Aid has said, said it, a couple of other people have commented, Paul has said it, and I found it myself. Tammy Extra Thin will not work with that plastic. You have to use the Extra Thin Quick Setting. So obviously it needs a hotter glue, which is, a bit of a problem and I also discovered after weathering that just like Bandai the plastic is attacked with odorless thinners so um, I know that if you use white spirit enamel thinners that can attack the plastic whatever you use but the odorless stuff doesn't tend to attack anything but that it does so um, it's a bit concerning because if they've changed the formula and they're going to continue with that formula then I 
think they're going to lose a lot of fans because it's not very nice. Um, the other thing with that Hurricane, it's a beautiful kit for 40 quid, it's a bargain, but there are some areas of quite soft moulding, like the undercarriage legs and all that. It's all a bit soft, uh, could have been a lot bit sharper, but um, we shall see. Maybe I just got a dodgy kit. Again, very, very strange. Um, if you look at Paul's build, he fitted his flaps. They just dropped in. I had to split mine because the angle was wrong. When I put mine in, you will see in part three, I think, that the angle, you got the, the this is one piece here. And you've got the angle where it's straight and then goes up at an angle. When I put mine in, this was kind of, where are we? This was kind of out like that. It was, it needed to be cut and, and turned up in. So very, very strange. Um, I did notice Clive said in, um, in his Airfix review, um, he said that, you know, although plastic kits will come out the same moulds, no two kits are the same. Yes, he's right. Um, they're not massively different, but I do know another kit that I've got that I've been playing with that Paul's built. His went together like a dream. Mine is a complete and utter bastard of a build. So, um, very, very strange. And like with this, um, with this uh, torpedo boat, my torpedoes, the front of them were like a bloody prune. And the, the, all the, it all just shrunk. So when I put them together, instead of having two sort of round halves going together like that, they were kind of like this almost. Horrible. And you can see the amount of Mr. Surfacer I've got in there to get the round shape back. It's just unbelievable. Um, I was thinking about putting them up in the lathe and turning them round. But uh, what I should do is get one of Paul's <laughs> torpedoes and take a mould off it, isn't it? But anyway, there we are. That's what it is when it is. Um... So yeah, that is pretty much that. Those of you who like to see tools and equipment I use and everything, you're gonna love part six of the Hurricane build. The last part, at the end of the video, I have done a complete review of all the tools, paints, glues, and everything I've used throughout the build. I'm bound to have forgotten something, but um, it's everything I could remember. So uh, for those of you that like to see that sort of thing, if you go on, when, you, when you see part six, you can see it all there. Uh, so yeah I think that's about it for this month uh, what are we on 17 minutes sorry I've been waffling um, do, 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 what else did I want to say premium hobbies uh, a lot of you are telling me that premium hobbies don't ever have stock of anything there is an issue across the world as far as I can tell with with um, deliveries and getting stock and stuff uh, because of all the issues of you know um, prices of containers and everything so I should imagine that what's happening is rather than sending out half filled containers, everybody's trying to probably maximise and stuff those containers as full as they possibly can. So instead of getting, you know, it could be as well, you get like a small container is £100 and one twice the size is £120. That, that normally happens in life, doesn't it? So I think what's probably happening is deliveries are getting, getting bigger deliveries less often. But he's expecting uh, the VMS stuff around everything sort of coming around now to the end of the month to the end of February so um he's got Tamiya delivery coming he's got VMS coming and what was the other one I asked about I can't remember now it's on my phone and I can't look because I'm using my phone to record this but um I did ask about three products and he said they're all going to be due one was like the next week or so one was two weeks and one was at the end of the month so uh yeah be looking looking forward to that so there we are. Um, don't forget, if you use Premium Hobbies for anything, NMB10, you get 10% off whatever you buy. And uh, and there we go. So that's that. So as I say, keep your eyes open. This will be back on the bench very, very soon. I can't really do any more now until we've got the clear parts on because I don't want to start painting all the camouflage and then start gluing clear parts on. And um, I don't want to start masking and then leaving masking on there because you know what happens. So... Uh, We'll be masking up round there, sorry, round here with one piece of tape and then masking that off and doing the camouflage and all sorts of bloody bloody blah. So uh, yeah, beautiful model. Um, looking forward to getting that one done because it's nearly there. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Uh, thank you for all your comments as I say. If you have any comments to make, please leave them down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you will get informed whenever I release a new video, which is quite a lot lately. So uh, I'll see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.